the male and the female Chiladis butterfly. It's the 89th species okay, found visiting here in this butterfly garden in Bago City. And I'm taking you today inside this butterfly garden and um, well, the one who owns it is um, uh, a woman who is formally trained uh, as an anthropologist and who is now a biologist. And she's going to share with us her butterfly journey. She is, ano, she's, she's making pabida. What is she? There, she keeps coming back because this is her turf. What's the name of the butterfly again? Pada She's feeding? Uh, no, I think she's going to ano. Oh, oh come here. Naga ano siya, naga itlog. Oh, we post it in. Oh, it's a female. Extra. So it's a uh, size, right? Mm. So it's, it's a female. female. Oh, we post it in. Yung point niya, kita mo. Tapos, I'm disturbing her. Gagawa, tapos nagatawa. Hi there, see. Take a look. Oh, point niya. Oh, oh. So she's laying eggs. Oh. This is this is baho baho <laughs> baho baho. Oh, but lantara lantana kamara. Yeah. Otherwise, that no. is a favorite nectarine plant of mm -hmm. a butterfly. If you mm -hmm. want to have a butterfly garden, you have to have two kinds of plants. Mm -hmm. The larval host plants where the butterfly can lay eggs mm -hmm. and they, you have the larva mm -hmm. and then you should have nectaring plants which means they will eat the nectar, they will sip the nectar. Oh, mm -hmm. food nila so, baho, baho has nectar? Oh, they will, they will, you know, they will burn inside. <laughs> oh, okay. But this is also a uh, host plant with very tiny butterfly. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So this is both a host plant and a nectarine plant. Okay. So if you want that butterflies will continue to be in your garden, you should have both uh -huh. nectarine plant and host plant. Because uh -huh. with the with the host plant, the butterflies will come and visit to lay the eggs. Uh -huh. It will also it will also invite the male. Kasi female ang nangyiglog. Mm -hmm. It will also invite the male to come often. Kaya syempre, then he, he can find a mate. Right. Oh, so which means, continuous na sila. Mm -hmm. but, but you really planned this garden? You really wanted to put up a butterfly garden? At the beginning, hindi naman. But when I started, in 2012, no, before this was ano good. <laughs> this was a lawn. Mm -hmm. Yung parang suburban garden with a lawn. Mm -hmm and with a few accent lang tapos uh, naguba nga ako ng lawn mowers it was very difficult to maintain mm -hmm. so i decided to change it mm -hmm. and then i started planting and then i started learning about uh, butterflies mm -hmm. so i started planting na about uh, host plant and nectarine plant mm -hmm. and then i started reading mm -hmm. and that's how i really started to really develop the garden oh, oh. So, this is another favorite nectarine plant. This is Pentas. Mm -hmm. Kilala niya, guru? Oo. Uh -oh. Pentas. Ang golden bird, di yung bala? Oo. Uh -oh. Ang yellow, nga may black. So, this is the host plant. Because I want the golden bird wing to be here in the garden. Damo, is sila all over the garden. Nagtanong ako. Let's find out kung ano makakita ito to sang larva. This one is also a favorite nectarine plant, even of big butterflies. It's so, it's so parang delicate, you know? but it can hold a, uh, it can hold a big butterfly. This one, kilala nyo, ito pandakaki. Uh -uh. This one, this is a host plant of moth naman, uh -uh. not butterfly. Uh -uh. But the, but the flower is another nectarine plant of the butterfly. Uh -huh. Pandakaki. Pandakaki. Uh -huh. Moth, now uh, belong to the, what they call, Tingadi family, mm -hmm. the moth that pollinate the papaya. Ah, okay. If you don't have Tingadi uh, mm -hmm. moth in your garden, then your papaya will not bear fruit. Mm -hmm. Kasi lahat nagapollinate. 
Ini santan. Yes, yeah, santan. The favorite also of nectarine plant. Ah, favorite nectarine plant. Oh, oh. That one, the yellow one, is yellow alder. That's the favorite nectarine plant, especially during the rainy season. Kaya damo, na sila nagaginuwa lang di sa garden. Mm -mm. Once you plant one, uh, or, or mga three, we will just start growing all over. So what you do is you don't remove them. Ini, uh, not, not so much a favorite of the butterfly, but it is a favorite of the stingless bee. Okay. Uh, so you've got butterflies, bees, and uh -oh. moths. Bees, birds, lots mm -hmm. of birds. Moss and other insects. Mm. Important ang bees in the garden kasi sila nagapulinate sa flowers. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Like how many species of plants do you have here? Um, I can check. A lot. <laughs> no, no. A lot. Kasi it's easy for me to check kasi we have just written, uh, I'm writing a paper. Okay. So I can easily provide you the data. Ah, okay. Amo na ganyan kasi lingkong 88 species. Oh, oh. <laughs> but there are gardens na wala butterflies na or rarely gonna visit ka butterflies. Kung wala sila tanong ng may flowers. Never the, the butterflies will not go there. Kasi oh, oh. kung puro lang kaladium, puro lang anthurium, oh, oh. puro lang philodendron. Right. No butterflies. So dapat gali flowering plant. Mm -hmm. Kasi they get the nectar. Okay. Mm -hmm. They're invited to be there. That's so. nice. So, oh. Tapos the more the butterflies, the more colorful your garden. Oh. So. <laughs> this one naman is uh, it's not a native plant but it's a favorite also of the bees. Mm -hmm. This is called the uh, Texas sage. Mm -hmm. Or silver leaf. This one is a favorite of the butterflies. There are many colors here. Yeah? They're called the uh, pigeon berry, I think in English, but it's called Duranta erecta. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The scientific name is Duranta erecta. So you have the dark color. Mm -hmm. As you can see, there's another light color there. Mm -hmm. mm -mm -mm. uh -uh. Then I have the white one. The white is here. Can I have a white? Mm -hmm. So this is the bow bow. So you see the bees? There's a bees. Mm -hmm. Blue banded bee. Mm -hmm. There's a blue banded bee. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And this is the yellow alder. So there's a butterfly. <laughs> it's a... Look at that. There. Can you see it? Can you see it? Can you see it? Hi! It's a small butterfly. Look at that. Oh my God! This is a cerulean! Ano na, weed na nga yan. Ano, ano, ano siya yung uh, na? Liptusia ninia. If you, if you know the, the butterfly that they commonly use sa wedding, ng black and white, ako ni siya. Ah, ah okay. Ano, okay. Ano, Ideal yung ko ni ang, ano, ang name. So, another butterfly. Which is very nice, pero wala siya. Naka once lang itlog na dito, pero subong wala sa kabalit. Ano nga siya ganit nga plant? Ano, Lichia. L-I-T-F-E-A. Species siya. Ginashampo niya, tapos mga tigulang. Amo niya punta, ginatok-tok. So native niya siya, bali nga tree. Filipino native siya, tree. Post-plant niya siya sa common leopard. Ito. Ang minaglabay sa ako, no? Pada ko. Bird. Bird. Ito na kitang bees ko. What do you call that rock? Bee rock. It's a bee box. That's where they're building their hive inside. And then later you can get honey. This is the lyra. Of the common lime. It eats calamansi or 
uh, pumelo or dayak. Mm. Mm-hmm. Now the same the same host plant is also the host plant of common mormon. Ina naman mm. common mormon. How do you know nga common mormon siya? If you can see ito ang common line wala siya sa sa side na black na. Mm. Right. Oh. So you know that is a common mormon and mm-hmm. this is a common line. Okay. But they have the same host plant. Ah. Uh-uh. Okay. He just molted. He is not a pupa. Before that he was just a larva. Mm-hmm. Uh, he is still a larva pa pala. But before that he was a younger larva. Mm-hmm. Black siya. So if you can see he molted mm-hmm. the black and is still. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. He will eat that later. Okay. Uh-huh. This is the the in January, mm-hmm. the number the one where you took a picture of. But this is a different butterfly. Mm-hmm. This is a uh, great jay. Mm-hmm. Atong outside is tail jay. Ah, okay. Uh, this one is great, great jay. Okay. The one I said that will pollinate your, mm-hmm. your papaya. Mm-hmm. The host plant is caladium. Ah, okay. But fortunately, I have a lot of wild caladium. Mm-hmm. Otherwise, even if they eat my caladium, I get them and then I feed them with the wild caladium. Mm-hmm. So the wild caladium, you can, they can have it all, but don't eat my caladium. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so this will become a moth that will pollinate the papaya. Mm-hmm. Okay. So if you have more of this and you have papaya, the more fruit she will get. Mm-hmm. It's called chiladis. Iyang ang host plant mo. Ah. Oh. Dali lang na, sa'yo ka ng itlog yan. What plant, plant is this? At ito siya. Ah. Oh. Kita mo? Oo. Oh, oh. Saika de Oliva. Ito so, ang uh, nectarine plant. Alika, lo. Sa Johnny siya bala na plant. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Look at this, oh. Mm-hmm. Si daddy ko before, damo ni Stango. Vine siya. And then look at the, the line colors ng flowers niya. Oo. Oh, oh. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So, paborito man sila sa butterflies. Oh, butterflies. Few butterflies. Uh-uh. Oh, 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 oh. I will have to sit down and pretend I'm dead para so that they show up. Dali kay ginapulag yung hanya ko. Dapat sa kulit ka sa pagtupa niya pa lang. Oo. Kadasig lang na siya. Maano na siya dahil malupad na naman. Ay, ay, ay. Ara, ara, ara. Gaka-record ko siya. Oo, oh, oh, she's wanting. She, where are you? What's the name of that butterfly? What's the name of that butterfly? This one is What? Oh, oh, the fast moving. Can't see you anymore. Ang scientific name as Istasia gangetica. Eh, vine lang na yun. Yun yung host plant pag yun yung nangami na butterfly. Pero until na wala ka na nag-visit. So, why do you find this for butterflies? Ha? Nga, I find ko sa butterflies. Because I started seeing them in the garden. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And uh, I thought it's about time to learn another one. I formally trained as an anthropologist, okay. so I have become a biologist. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so I thought it's uh, it would be nice to learn another trade, <laughs> another profession. So uh, I think I have learned a lot, mm-hmm. really a lot. And I can now discuss many things with biology. Mm-hmm. And, uh, and also because uh, when I started fighting coal plants, mm-hmm. the goal is to stop destruction. So, the plant is to 
is biodiversity. Mm-hmm. And when you when you're thinking about that, butterflies come as a natural natural what, interest mm-hmm. because then you are helping in uh, in the increasing biodiversity. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Parang may garden is an example of how you can contribute to increasing biodiversity. So we can do that in our backyards, right? Oh, you just have to learn. You don't have to have all the host plants like my garden a lot. Mm-hmm. A few lang. If you have um, if you have calamansi mm-hmm. or the dayap, mm-hmm. uh, and this one, you see, so you will already grow three butterflies. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So you can start with that, and then and if you have the the weeds like that, don't uh-huh. pick them up. Don't throw them away. Mm-hmm. Then the small butterflies will come. Ah, okay. Ito, ito, ito. Ito, ito. Ah, okay. This one. This one. This one. Ah, okay. Uh, they're called the uh, Ceruela roti des- desperma. Oh, you just let them grow. Mm. Uh, yeah, in the garden. No, not only let them grow. Sometimes, pag nakain, mag nakaon na siya, I purposely plant them mm. in pots or anywhere to make sure that the white butterflies will always stay in the garden. Oh, oh, oh. So the white, the small white butterflies are always seen. So are they, they're among the residents? Oh, oh. The white butterflies are among the residents. They're among the residents. Because they're always seen. And I have, I have reared a few and I have watched how they close. And then, what happened kasi when I rear, after they close, I release the adult butterfly back to the garden. Mm-hmm. Anong time lang ang butterfly na araw sila? What time? Like for example, sa pag sunset, wala na. This, uh, the big butterflies, especially Detroit, is, they nectar in the morning. And then usually at 4, they come back. Mm-hmm. And uh, pareha sila ng kom- ano? pink rose. Mm-hmm. I also have ano, endemic butterflies in the garden. It means they're not found elsewhere. Mm-hmm. They're just found in the in the Philippines. Oh. I cannot remember how many. So we'd oh. like to thank Romana for sharing us with, um, well, allowing us to visit her beautiful butterfly garden. And also would like to invite everybody to please subscribe to my YouTube channel, of course. Yes. And then all of my vlogs are linked to all of my social media um, platforms. We've got Facebook, Instagram, IGTV, TikTok, Twitter, and of course, YouTube. And remember, we can actually help in uh, our, uh, well, keeping the biodiversity um, rich by actually having plants in our gardens that will invite um, butterflies to vi- not only to visit us, but also to be residents of our gardens in our own backyards of course continue to help in greening the environment and preserving the environment and of course let's all stay safe and healthy despite the pandemic okay um let's all keep the positive um spirit and let's continue to spread love and of course i'll see you in my next vlog stay safe and healthy bye